What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Super Power Review, the show that brings you news and reviews on super cool comic book things. Today, we're going to be reviewing issue three of Venomverse. Uh, today's guest is my good friend Joshua Cardona. What's going on, my friend? How's it going, my man? Yeah, it's been a long time. You have officially broken the record for being. Uh, for making a third appearance on the show. So kudos to you. Thank you. It's an honor. It's an honor. <laughs> uh, so big things happen in, in Venomverse number three. First off, Deadpool converts to the, the poisons. Uh, right. Now Carnage is in the mix. And uh, Doctor Strange uh, uh, Venom uh, gets, gets captured. Uh, so what did you think of the issue so far? I've loved it uh, from beginning to end. Uh, I think the whole thing with Deadpool, I think he's, I think he's able to control what's going on even with the poison. So I think he's like, uh, I don't think he's not like he's a traitor. I think he knows what he's doing, and in the end, he's gonna be like, hey, let me help you guys out. I know what I'm doing, uh, and I'm glad that uh, Brock and um, Doctor Strange they brought in Carnage for that little help backup that they needed. I love seeing him in there. Yeah. Uh, so obviously, Carnage coming into the mix was yeah. the big part of the issue. Um, right. And, man, I, I really have to say, I really love how Carnage looks in this, uh, in this issue. And I'm going to yeah. be quite honest, like, it, it is a really cool update Carnage from, you know, like, from the, like, 1990s, like, Maximum Carnage and whatnot. But right. uh, he, he's super cool. Uh, I even really like how they did his, like, jaw, how he has, like, uh, like an it's under really elongated. Yeah, everything. like he's got like yeah. a huge underbite. He should probably right. go to the dentist for that. But um, <laughs> yeah, it was a really cool issue. Obviously, this is big because uh, Carnage is in. I don't know if we can get a shot of that, but uh, that's what that's what he looks like right there. Really cool. Uh, and just uh, just to, you know, kind of draw back here. I hope uh, this is somewhat of what we see in uh, Venom 2018 uh, for the Venom movie. That would be great, no? Uh, that would be sick. That would be sick. Nice. Um, <laughs> so, uh, what would, would you think of, of, the, of the story so far? Like, um, do you think this is probably one of the better issues of the whole, uh, whole series so far? 50-50. Um, I like the second issue. It I had more, too. obviously, more of Brock in it, more of like a badass just doing what he wants, even uh, part issue uh, one. I love this one, though, a little bit more because it's got my other favorite symbiote. It's got Carnage in it. And I love seeing the interaction between both of them because when was the last time they, both of them were in the same comic or doing anything? It's, it's been true. A while. It's true. It's true. They, 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 haven't, they haven't had a reunion in, in quite a while. I'm glad you brought that up. And uh, yeah. bringing the whole back... Uh, uh, oh, hey, daddy -o. like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so even bringing, like, you know, classic writing into the mix with, with how they even interact with each other. Right. I liked how, I don't know if you picked up on it or if it is even anything to pick up on, but I liked uh, the dialogue. Like, when I was reading it, it reminded me of the attitude from, like, maybe Maximum Carnage. He just came in, handled his business, was a smart little Alec, whatever, did what he did, started killing people left and right. I was like, this is also the Carnage that we need and miss from back in the day as well. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's pretty cool. So now we, we don't know why the Venom symbiotes can't tear the poisons to shred, uh, you know, kill the poisons like uh, right, like, yeah. like Carnage can. So uh, hopefully the series will bring into light on why that, that is happening and why he can't do that. Right. Yeah, because what he sliced up... Uh, Iron Fist. Iron, yeah. yeah, just like with ease. And then I like the, the next couple of pages when... Um, uh, who, who else got turned to a poison this one? Um, uh, it was a uh, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. He's, he's all pumped up and there's this big page. Like He's going to say something like, oh, I'm so powerful. Next thing you know, he pops up right behind him, stabs him, kills stabs him. Stabs him, he's, kills him. Yeah, I was like, oh, man. Yeah, that was a good part. And uh, I can actually uh, bring that up real quick. Um, yeah, that was, that was a really cool part. Here it is right here of uh, Carnage uh, stabbing uh, Ghost Rider right yeah. through the chest. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? This was yet again another really brutal issue of Venomverse. Right. It, I feel like this it, it's getting a little more brutal, a little more brutal. Uh, I really liked the second one. The second one was uh, one of my favorites, 
And then issue three came out and I'm gonna say, you know what? This is now my favorite. It, it is continuing to get better through right. each issue and I'm really excited for number four. Yeah, do you, do you notice the, uh, what is it, the last page or something? It shows uh, Carnage is destroying all the Venoms. Yeah. Like, what's going on with that? Because you know Carnage, he's got his own agenda going on, so he might right. be helping out now, but uh, I can't wait. Ha having Carnage in here was, uh, you know what, um, I wasn't expecting Carnage to come in through this. Um, mm. I know a couple other people said something about Carnage even before this issue came out because somebody uh, looked at the covers and noticed that Carnage was on the covers. So Carnage is going to be on the next cover for number four. But yeah. I wasn't expecting Car Carnage to come into the equation of this at all. Hey, as long as they keep him in there, I'm fine with that. I like it. Yeah, you like it? I mean, I, I don't really mind it. I, again, I wasn't expecting it, but... Um, you know what I've noticed so far about Venomverse, especially this issue right here, is that mm. uh, Eddie Brock is really not so much a huge star in this comic book. Right, I've noticed that, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no like really huge like main character like in your face. I mean, he's there, and he's like mainly the reason why all this is happening, but he was like maybe in like what maybe four or five panels in this so like he had like a couple of parts of dialogue and that was really it right i think this one was mainly what i got was like rocket raccoon talking about his bomb his yeah. whole plan and uh a little bit more of deadpool and then all straight out carnage but you know you're right it's it hasn't been too much of venom too much lately it focuses on a lot of other people yeah it's <laughs> it's and you know uh another thing too is when, when it comes to comic books with uh, multiple characters in it, like uh, let's say for instance uh, Justice League or mm. The Avengers, when it's like multiple characters like that, uh, I have a hard time gaining interest into the story. Yeah, and yeah. I, I've, I've actually really liked this comic for, for, you know, for a big group of people. I, I actually kind of understand what's kind of going on. Right. So it, it, I, I, go ahead. I've had the same issue before, like with uh, Justice League and stuff like that. But I think maybe because it's more more interested in uh, the symbiotes or whatnot. But I think it's just the writing is really well done, and I like how they break it apart. To they they tend to focus on different characters, so you're not just all drowned in one character. And you're like, well, what about everyone else? The back, the, all the people in the background. But they split it all up. I like it. Yeah. Right. 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 So, what do you think? Um, you know, D Doctor Strange has been captured. What, right. what do you think uh, their plan is for Doctor Strange, the poisons? Uh, the way it seems right now, from what I take it, they just captured him maybe just to lead everyone else to their lair, just kill them all. Because, I mean, I, I don't see what Strange really has anything to do with anything. I mean, he's the leader. He's brought everyone here. Uh, and as far as I'm concerned, they want Strange to continue bringing all the symbiotes, all the venoms, because apparently that's what they need to feed and to convert them. So mm. I think it's just to get everyone else to their lair and destroy them or convert them. In yeah, convert them, yeah. yeah. Interesting, interesting. Uh, you know, it's it's been a really good issue. Uh, it's been a really good storyline. Uh, as I was saying in my last episode, uh, and if you've watched my, my uh, The Downfall of Marvel episode, I haven't been picking up any new comic books lately. Uh, especially uh, when it comes to Marvel, I've, I've been I've been I've been picking up a few Batman stuff. Uh, I'm I'm really behind on on the um, the new uh, Batman um, storyline there. What's that one? You tell me to read. The Batman Metal. Yeah, that yeah that one. I need to, I need to read that one. one. But uh, you know, for what what got me into this was that number one, you and Joe were messaging me saying like, dude, you have to get this. This is starting off really good. You have to buy it. And I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go to the comic book store and start, you know, buying new stuff again. And this, this one's got me. It, it totally has me. And I, it's, it's making me excited for the next issue, which, which feels good. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, the, that was the same thing with me, man. I haven't been picking up too many comics lately, especially Marvel. It's just been all that uh, Batman metal and whatnot. But then, like you said, Joe brought it up to me. Then I told you, and I started reading. I was like, crap, this is actually really good. Yeah. So and I'm stuck with it now. Right. Uh, number one was definitely the hook grabber. It was like, okay, like, uh, I'm wondering where, where this is going to go. And then two was brutal, and you're like, okay, like, 
I wonder what three is going to happen. And then three happens. You're like, that was even more brutal. What's going to happen to four? So it's, it's literally been escalating. Yeah, definitely. Um, quick question. Of all of the, the, the symbiotes that we've lost so far, okay, which symbiote would you bring back? Uh, honestly, I would probably want to bring back the guy they just took already, uh, Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider? You would want to bring Ghost Rider back? I didn't get to see that much of them. Yeah, oh well, yeah, true, true. I mean, that's who I would have picked. What about you? Uh, I'm I'm really torn between Spider-Man and Agent Venom. I oh. really am. I, you know what? I, I'm I'm at, okay. Uh, final decision. I, I would want to bring Agent Venom back because Agent <laughs> Venom number one is a badass, and uh, I really feel like he could have done more for this team. You know, with all his guns and. And you know his gum right. sure. I, 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 I feel like he uh, he got killed off way too soon. I rather seen Ghost Rider die in the first issue than Agent Venom. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he died, right? They just showed him in the background or something. The next panel or whatever, and he's dead. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Like, hey, what's going on? And dead. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did like uh, see now if we had Spidey still in here now would like really kind of seem like a maximum carnage maximum venom kind of feel a little <laughs> yeah, bit yeah. i i could do without spider-man i we've had enough of him I, i'd go with the agent venom too yeah i guess second choice yeah i would really i would go for uh i would definitely go for agent venom um okay next question uh who is your favorite uh poison character like for look wise uh Favorite, favorite, favorite. They they look so cool. Like I, I they kind of look like um, they kind of look like insects a little bit. Like I feel like their design like yeah. really comes off like like insect looking. Right. And um, uh, and, and it's like a, a like even like some of their mouths look like Iron uh, Iron Man like a little bit. I don't right. know. They they're definitely weird looking. They remind me of praying mantises. That's what they remind me of. Yeah, they're very insect looking. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, honestly, I think, I don't know, I, either Deadpool or Captain America. I'm, I'm liking Captain America. Captain America looks pretty cool, yeah. He, he, he does, does look yeah, cool. yeah. Uh, I, I, th I think my favorite design was uh, Iron Fist. Iron Fist definitely looked really cool. <laughs> he was pretty, yeah, he did look pretty cool. But now he's dead. <laughs> 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 and now he's dead. You, you killed my favorite poison-looking character. Well, what are you doing, Nugget? <laughs> Hey, Spider-Man looked pretty cool. He looked kind of like anti-Venom a little bit. Yeah, true. You know what? Yeah, that's true, too. Spider-Man did re look really cool. And, uh, you know, that's what also got me wanting to read these, too, because when you guys were sharing stuff like, oh, Venomverse is so cool. I'm like, oh, like, that white guy, is that anti-Venom? You're like, no, yeah. that's Spider-Man. I'm like, okay, now i got to read it. Why does Spider-Man <laughs> look like that? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta know why. I, I gotta know now. Why is Spider-Man all white? What happened to him? Why does he look like anti-venom? <laughs> Just because he looks badass like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. He did look. But you know what? I think I'm gonna. I, I think I'm still gonna go with uh, Iron Fist. I think he looks the coolest. I mean, Spider-Man had no color. He was just white. Right. Right. I don't know. Um, uh What's what's your take on the artwork on, on this comic? Uh, do you like uh, Ivan Coelho's artwork in this comic? I love it. Yeah, it looks really good. Uh, no it's, it, it definitely looks really nice. And uh, I, I really like how he kind of takes um, more more or less designs. Like like I said before, like Carnage, okay? Like he looks updated, but that's, that's how he would kind of look like in the 90s comics, but mm. totally updated okay so i right. feel like they kind of use the same layouts but you know with 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 the textures in with the artwork with the sheens on the artwork uh, i think it's just like a little more updated it looks really nice no definitely. i like it i hope they stick with that i mean I, i'm not uh, even sure if that's what he looks like in his current comic because he has his own right carnage uh, uh is is this still going i'm not sure because I'm, I'm not reading it so right right because he kind of looked like that, but they definitely made a, like you said, a huge improvement in this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I, I hope that's what I see for the Venom movie 2018. That would be really great. <laughs> it's going right. to be the total opposite. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be, he's going to be pink. <laughs> he's going to be pink. He's going to look like Pepto-Bismol. 
<laughs> and you know the one thing I do like? They did not give him a tongue. Yes, yes. I mean, you haven't really been seeing much of a tongue in Venom either, which is kind of nice too. Right. Uh, yeah, that, that's nice too. All right, right down to the greediness. Josh, uh, what would you give this uh, comic for a grade? So if you were to give this a CGC grade, okay, what would it be? 9.8. A 9.8? It's, per it's almost <laughs> near perfect. It's mint? Really? It's mint, man. I'm loving <laughs> it. There's not one thing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> What? Too high? What would you give it? Too high, man. It's not that phenomenal. It, <laughs> for this thing to be a 9.8, it's got to have like a Spider-Man 300 cover in it. <laughs> <laughs> I should get one of those in the next issue. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I've, I've, I, I've given issue one and two both an 8.0. Okay? They oh. were really good. Um, but... Despite everything that's happened in, in this issue, it, the issue really, the series gets better and better. And I, I am going to, I'm going to bump it up to a nine. It, it is really good. Uh, if, if you're not reading this issue, you're missing out. And if you're a Venom fan and if you're not reading this issue, you're not a Venom fan. <laughs> 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 plain, plain and simple. But I, I, I've, I've really enjoyed this. Um, and I really think this totally blows Edge of Venomverse out of the waters completely. Totally Edge of Venomverse was just a failure in my eyes. This Same is here. something to really pick up. It's really good. Good story. It's brutal as hell. You got to pick it up. Please do. Please do. And then let me know what you think about it. Uh, Josh, anything else you have to say about Venomverse number three? One thing I want to ask you. Yes, sir. What one one or two things that you didn't care for it, if there was anything? <sighs> uh, you know what? To be quite, I, I would I would have maybe changed a little bit of the character roster in this. There 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 are definitely some characters in here uh, that I I I rather see a symbiote or a poison. Like uh, mm -hmm. I don't know the the character's name. But it's that Venom girl who's got like the kind of like emo bangs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't know, know her. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, I could do without <laughs> her. <laughs> no, we'll just call her emo. Um, <laughs> I could do without her. Uh, and Doctor Doom being the main poison villain or leader, I could do without that. I, I, I am so over anything with Fantastic Four, Doctor Doom. It's lame. <laughs> it, 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 it puts a really bad taste in my mouth, okay? All I can think about is Fox, okay? <laughs> no, nah, okay, so that, that's really the only thing I could think about. And okay. uh, if Deadpool is in, in here, you know, Deadpool's supposed to be the comic relief, and I really haven't felt that way about Deadpool. Deadpool's that's supposed to make a serious situation funny. And right. uh, I'm not getting that out of this character like I should be. You're spot on about that. I haven't noticed that either. Show's over, people. Like it already. <laughs> 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 that, that's, that's my only thing. And, uh, you know, uh, kill, kill, killing off Agent Venom so soon. I mean, I understand that some characters have to die or, or you know, go on to the other side. But... Um, I don't know. Don't don't pick my favorite ones. <laughs> they could have killed Mary Jane. Yeah, kill Mary Jane. Who gives a crap about Mary Jane? <laughs> she's not doing anything. Yeah, she's not doing anything. She just looks hot in the series. That's about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about Mary Jane or Ra Rocket Raccoon. Like, you, you just have Rocket Raccoon because Guardians of the Galaxy is big right now. Get rid of him. Come on. He doesn't even have the big white spider on his symbiote suit. It's a big paw. Who cares? Get him out of there. <laughs> Forget I even asked. <laughs> <laughs> now you got me going, man. You got, you got me going. But OK, all right, it's good. Still read it, OK? D d don't, don't listen to me, OK? If you agree with me, whatever. But that, that's, 
<laughs> That's the only thing. Nine point oh, nine point eight. Check it out. It's a great. It's a great comic right nine now. Nine point eight. Don't listen to this guy. It's nowhere in the nine point eight. It's a nine point oh. Okay. It's good, but it's really not that good. Okay. <laughs> It's it's, uh, it's good, not that good. Nine point eight. Uh, you know what? I can't even take you seriously now. I can't even have uh, you as a guest oh, anymore. On. Give me a rating. Uh, you know, nine point eight. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> You're complaining about uh, what your favorite guy dying. <laughs> if Raccoon was out and and your dude was alive, you'd be all right. Nine six, nine eight. Watch. No, nah, it's a nine zero. It's a solid nine zero. And you know oh. what? Uh, n no, nobody. I mean, you have the highest, the highest rating. I mean, a lot of people are saying this is crap, it's a 6.0, and I have to really disagree. This is one of the better Marvel comics that are on the shelves right now. Really? People are saying that? Yeah, people, people think Venomverse is, is, is a huge disappointment, and I really don't think it's a miss. Uh, I think it's right close to the bullseye. So. Yeah. I don't know. They must be talking about Edge of Venomverse, because that was garbage. No, no, no. I was, you know, I, I like to see what other people feel for it a little bit, you know, get, get, you know, get, get the ideas flowing, see what everybody else thinks, and you know, then I have to dig deep and think about what I think about it. And but uh, right. a, a lot of people think that uh, Venomverse is a huge disappointment. Everybody says that this is their favorite issue. This has been the better of the series, but they said every, one and two have been nothing but crap, and I, I, I totally disagree. I, I really do. One was a good catcher, two, it, 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 you know what, this, these issues have been like quicksand, okay? I put my mm -hmm. foot in the sand for one, I, I sunk a little bit in two, and now I'm knee deep in three. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's how I am, but I, yeah, I'm, su I'm surprised that people aren't liking it, or haven't, that's, I haven't read anything about that, but that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know, it, it's, it's good, pick it up. Uh, Josh, anything, anything else? Because we, we got to wrap it up. It's it's coming closing time. Anything else you'd like to say about Venomverse? Uh, other than what we said already, I mean, check it out. If you don't like it, who cares? It's four or five bucks. It's not that expensive. Four Read it five online. Bucks, uh, yeah, four bucks. Three ninety nine. If you're in Canada, well, then you're screwed. No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's show. Josh, thank you so much for being on. You're always uh, super fun to have on the show, and I like to get your opinions. You, you definitely make me laugh on, when you come on the show. It's, it's, always, it's always a good, fun time. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's show. Read Venomverse, and hey, if you laughed at this show, if you even smiled, you better be liking it. If you want to see more from this channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to be a, a potential guest like my friend Josh was today, you can always email the show at superpowerview9 at gmail.com. And that's going to wrap it up for today, and I'll see you real soon.